It's time for a two-minute timeout with Joe Shuda. Mike Lavalier explains what happened after the Pirates lost Game 7 of the 1992 National League Championship Series to the Braves. Well, the nearest thing that I've seen the movie Saving Private Ryan at the end when the bombs are going off and Tom Hanks sees all this stuff going around but can't really hear anything, then it, all of a sudden then you get the noise. Uh, like myself, I was numb that a bomb had been dropped on us. I remember going into the locker room and it was so numbing that I couldn't even talk. You know, that came late for an hour. It's like I never heard anybody talk. I don't know about really anything that took place right after that. The next season, Pirates management dropped the bomb on Lavalier by releasing him after five games. Why? Joe, I've got different theories on that. I was a Pirate player rep, contentious times. There was a number of lockout later on the strike. I don't say that that was the only thing I was injured. I had a problem with my Achilles that happened the last week of spring training. They never even gave me an option to go on the disabled list. I think that's a question you'd have to ask Ted Simmons and Jim Leland. You know, I was told that they didn't think I could stay healthy enough. I remember Easter Sunday being called into the office after the game and being told that I uh, was released. When it comes down to it, let's just say that baseball is very lacking in their communication with their players. And I think it's always been like that. But for the most part, you're a commodity and you got to kind of take that the way it comes. You know it going in that you only have certain protections, certain rights. Unfortunately, the human side of things are often ignored. That's just uh, the way it is. I, I don't know how many other people have been fired on Easter Sunday, but you know, I can raise my hand for that. I mean, it's absolutely terrible. I'm Joe Shuda with this two-minute timeout.